What do you love most about women? The way they're able to take your stress away just by talking to you about it. And also they're able to stress you out just by talking to you. This is truly a superpower they can make or break someone's day by just words. I'm not even kidding. I know homies do that too but that mostly requires getting high lol. So soft and huggable. Dude yes. They're just so much softer than men. Hugging my wife is like hugging a pillow that excretes mental health satisfying pheromones. Soft in all the right places. Smoother skin. Less hard and pointy. MMM. Not to mention the feeling of being hugged back. In general, there's a sense of caring from women that's a lot rarer with men. Not all women obviously, but it seems like women are more caring on average. The random acts of tenderness. Women are more likely to appreciate my positive attributes rather than being threatened by them. I feel I can be more myself around women than I can when I am around men. Y'all are giving heartwarming answers while my ape brain just went boobs. Boobs. Alternatively, butts. Alternatively, thighs. When she randomly puts blankets on me and I wake up on the couch where I had fell asleep and I'm warm. Makes me realize how gentle she can and is. I love it so simple. Read this right after I put an extra blanket on my boyfriend who fell asleep in the armchair last night and it made me smile. Physically. Just their shape in general. That feminine aesthetic is just intoxicating. Especially if they're a bit thicker. It's truly a work of art. Emotionally. Personally I love women who are very independent. Women who don't care what others think and don't take s from anyone. I like a little feistiness and when they don't mind confrontation. To some people, this comes off as being a bee not to. Me. A woman that knows what she wants is the hottest and most lovable thing imaginable. Personally I just like when people in general are straight up with me. Something I'm doing or saying you don't like. Tell me straight to my face and we'll talk about it. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I genuinely want to be a better person than I was yesterday and want to help anyone do the same if. That's what they want. A good-natured woman does wonders for your mental health. Straight this is what I think but then people always tell me that getting a girlfriend will not cure my loneliness. I'm not lonely anymore I just want to be happy. I'm 23 and never had a girlfriend and this is what I look forward to the most. I love it when a woman is really good at something but she's casual about it. I don't know why, casual high competence gets me hyped up. Just how beautiful they are in so many different ways. Like sunsets, the ocean, and the mountains. No two are beautiful in the same way and yet are absolutely transcendental in their own individual way. It depends. Every girl is different. But there is one thing all my crushes have in common, they're very smart. I don't know enough women to form an opinion that isn't based around looks, so instead I'll talk about my ex-girlfriend. We don't speak anymore, but she's still very important to me. For someone so petite, she had the biggest heart and showed infinite kindness to me and everyone I ever saw her interact with. She was constantly unaware of her own capacity for patience and was always driven to improve herself and make herself a better person than she was the day before. A completely inspiring human being. A very giving person who deserved the stars. Also generally speaking, women always smell really nice. Unfortunately I've never had a girlfriend before but I look forward to the mundane experiences of a long-term relationship. I want to go on cute dates and travel the world and make memories but sometimes it's just overwhelming how I think it might not happen. The fact that you're looking forward to the mundane things and seem to want to invest in a relationship instead of having someone just pour themselves into you makes me think you'll make a girl feel very lucky in your future. I love how soft they are. I have cuddled, dated, and slept with both men and women, and I find women much more snuggly, soft, and warm. I also really like women who are a little bigger because they are the most snuggly of all. And boobs. Hugs. I've always maintained that, yeah, sex is great, but if you've ever been the big spoon, holding someone that you care about, and she wakes up, does that little, I'm relaxed and feel safe sigh, grabs you to hold her tighter, and then falls asleep again. I think you'll agree that that's one of, if not the absolute, best feelings in the world. Just knowing that she cares satisfies my life. 
how she can cover a random house into the home. I have often said in the past that my mom can turn a hovel into a haven. It didn't matter if money was tight. She found ways to make an old decrepit house livable. There is a Filipino proverb that goes, the woman is the light of the home. The equivalent for man is that he is the pillar. The peace they can bring to you emotionally and physically. Man, guess you ain't met Tasha. It's like other women got that peace from her and she's now all out of peace. I should call her. Setting aside physical things. I love when women laugh. But ugly laugh, like wheeze laugh. It's something I always find very endearing. Gentleness. Women can be tender in a way that is so unique and beautiful. Make you feel like a superhero. I hope a lot of women get to read the nice things men are saying about them here, and I hope that men here read the same nice things they are saying, but about themselves. Traits like being caring, nurturing, a good listener, making a house a home, those are not uniquely feminine traits, and we can all, women and men, be better people. The good women in my life have all been very nurturing and kind. Some of my best friends are women, most actually. They often readily offer a new approach to things and I really enjoy that. They are also often more communicative and that helps when trying to be a better person. What I love about the women I love or loved is that they keep slash kept me a safe house, speaking metaphorically. I feel safe to be vulnerable and just rest. I love that they have slash had been the pillow to rest on. They smell nice and are soft. There is somehow a sense and even smell of comfort around most of them. I'm a fairly sensitive guy. No, I'm an extremely sensitive guy. I have one close guy friend I can talk about my s with. Other than that, it's always the ladies I turn to. In my honest opinion they are often way more emotionally developed than guys and that's something I need. I love that in women, a lot. It's not the thing I love most. But a thing I think is underappreciated female friends make fantastic wingmen when you're single. Most of the ones I know personally are nurturing and complimentary by nature. They go out of their way to check up on me and find things about me to try to highlight, even if I don't recognize either the attribute that they're trying to compliment, or the compliment itself. The way girls smile and laugh when they're trying not to big can't help it. Empathy is a human trait that they don't have hide. Their strength. I was raised by tough women and I wouldn't change my upbringing for anything. Also I've never had a woman try and fight me in a bar for accidentally making eye contact or something. That's always appreciated too. How warm and soft they are how they smell brings me back to being a little kid in kindergarten their terrifying capacities of turning their voices to inhuman levels of high pitch did I mention the softness their courage and resilience their kindness their patience and the conversations with them are usually better maybe that's just my experience so far as a 30 year old man but i have had a ton of experience surrounded by males i grew up with two older brothers no sisters and in addition many male cousins with just a few female ones i spent some time oddly enough at a yoga studio in my mid-twenties i was surrounded by women consistently for the first time in my life. The owner especially, who was a late 30s woman, treated me like a little brother and I honestly never felt so welcomed and nurtured in my life. Even by my own mother, she taught me about much more than yoga. She hugged me like I was family and I did not grow up in a hugging kind of family. I could sure use one of her loving hugs right now to be honest. It might sound weird but at this point in my life I can definitely say I prefer the company of women over men. There is nothing that I love more than a woman that's comfortable in her body, despite what society thinks is what a woman should be. I believe my wife has the perfect body but society's standard thinks differently. When they break stereotypes. My wife has a master's in a STEM field. She has no patience for your children. Her knowledge of technology and capabilities blow mine away, and I was in on that game way earlier than her. She does struggle with being very emotional, which I think is beautiful. It shows her deep empathy, and her passion for being effing awesome at what she does. She is this amazing. Amalgam of femininity and masculinity. She is a lady, when the situation is beneficial. She is Arnold Schwarzenegger when the situation calls for it. Always respectful. 
Always polite. Never walked on. 21 years of marriage, we wed when I was 18 and she was 21. Amazing person. My wife is 16 weeks pregnant. I love how their differences from men shape their perspective on things. Like, I could literally never imagine being told since I could listen that someday a human might grow inside my body and dealing with all the plausible fears that go along with that for decades. Us guys have literally nothing like that and it's wild. How they see the world in the an emotional context that men will never get to. It's as if their emotions are painted in a variety of hues and brightness that far exceeds what a man has. Sometimes I am jealous and other times I am thankful. It can seem exhausting. Women can really care about things in a deep level which is beautiful to me. Their figures and how fragile they feel even if aren't that skinny or smaller than me, I'm not a big dude. I notice that particularly ween hugging, I love to give a strong but gentle hugs like they are something I'm meant to protect. It's a warm and cozy feeling. I miss having someone to hold me and reassure me that everything is going to be okay. It's been two and a half years since I've been with a woman and it gets lonely and very depressing. Hugging your pillow at night and having cats to comfort you only works for so long. Their positive outlook on life, I'm cynical, all the women in my life have this happy-go-lucky way of approaching life, they are capable of seeing good things in life. My GF helps me sleep, I just feel more content in my bed when she's laying next to me. Motherly emotional support occasionally. As an Asian male child, I was always taught to never cry, but occasionally would confide in my mother when stressed to my limit, she provided the comfort while my dad provided the fix. Love them both. The subtle, beautiful gestures and facial tics that is impossible for even good-looking males to make. Don't know how to explain it, really. Generally, women are more accepting of guys that deviate from the norm in my experience. I've also never been comfortable talking about my feelings with other guys. This feels weird and patronizing to say, but it is my favorite thing about women, the fact that women can be so strong in the face of how effing scary the world must be to be a woman in. Around every corner is some Neanderthal cat calling you on the street, or being more insidiously as to you in your workplace, in your communities. The constant threat of violence paired with the extreme power. Imbalance physically and often sociologically against women. It would make sense if strong women were extremely rare. How do you become strong in a society full to the brim of s designed to intimidate you and shut you out and keep you down? And yet it's the goddamn opposite. Most women are absolutely down to fight for their place and fight to make the world safer for themselves and the equality. The deserve. It's like, actually incredible and awesome. My last girlfriend used to do this thing where she would just lay on top of me and cuddle on the couch when we watched TV or talked. I miss that more than anything, the talking about stuff and it being non-judgmental, open, and a two-way conversation. I don't really have anyone in my life who can do that with anymore. Just talk about stuff and it be a real conversation. I try to get it out of. Read it but it just instantly devolves into someone's offended because of XYZ reasons and I'm a bigot slash Nazi slash communist. Their creativity. My girlfriend has recently started cupping my face in her hands when she wants to kiss me. She leans in, kisses me, and then pulls away smiling and finally pulls her hands away, keeping a very slow, methodical, gentle pace the whole time. And then goes about doing whatever she was doing like nothing happened. It breaks my brain every time, it is like the world stopped moving and nothing else in. The world exists.